Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add additional Instagram account to your original account. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. You want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three lines. You click on the three lines and you launch the original settings page. You click on settings and privacy, the first option. Then you scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page where you see add account. When you actually click on add account, you will have the option to add additional existing accounts that you already created or to create a brand new account that you can add to your current login information. Meaning that when you add the accounts, the new one or the previous one, you'll be able to switch from one account to another without inputting the username or the password. It will be multi-login preset function that will help you to switch with one account to another very very fast also it is very important to mention that you can actually link not only facebook pages but you can actually link your facebook original account facebook pages and you can also link messenger accounts you can multi-link all of them and utilize the version so in instagram what we are going to do is we're going to come to the bottom right section now, as you can see, I don't have a business, but you can see one recurring theme. I have a drum account, okay? So basically, the theme you're going to set can be any niche or category your page can be in. So it can be, you know, wealth-inspiring videos. It could be, uh, you know, influencer videos, beauty product videos. So these are themes that you're going to need to set up for yourself. So choose a theme, okay? And you're going to start uploading content, about that theme so as you can see i have a lot of drumming videos right so there's drums there's more drums there's more drums there's just music drums more drums so you get what i mean so once you upload this content what you're going to do you're going to go to settings and privacy you are going to go to your account preferences okay so account type and tools and now you're going to switch to professional account which will take you into a business spotlight and that is about it so that's how you can start an instagram theme page business hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create your carousel post on instagram first of all let's launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower middle side of the settings with the plus sign then you want to select the images as you can see i can select multiple images but the small tip over here is that you want to click on the double square on the lower right corner you see the double square you click on the double square and now you can select multiple images in our case we're going to select a couple of images and then we can proceed by clicking next on the top right corner then you can actually adjust the brightness the filters you can make it more brighter darker cooler warmer it's up to you guys you want to make sure the theme is nice then you see the top middle side of the menu there is a note sign this is a pro tip that I'm going to give you for free. You can actually add music by clicking on the top middle side of the screen. This is where you can actually select a theme song. Imagine you're on vacation in the mountains. You, you, you just, you know, take plenty of images of the snow and the forest. And then you, you go back and you want to create a special Christmas theme, right? You just add the music. As you can see, we have on the top very nice christmas songs you add this song to your christmas carousel with three four five six images from the mountain from the snow from the trees and you essentially have if not the perfect post this is very important because remember the length of your post in the duration has to match with the length of the song you have to adjust the length of each to align Next thing you want to do is you want to click next on the top right corner when you finish editing. And there, this is where the magic happens. If you simultaneously decide to change the music, you do not have to go back on the previous menu. If you want to change the song, all we got to do is to scroll down. And there is a special section that is called add music. This will simply let you to change the song at the last step right over here. You don't have to lose your progress and you don't have to go back. You can change the song from here. And then when you're ready, just add a new song and proceed with posting. Don't forget to include as usual your metadata and all the necessary hashtags. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete Instagram search suggestions when you're actually typing or searching for something. 
let's jump on Instagram app. In this particular example, we're going to click right over here and then we're going to click on the magnifying glass so we can go and test the search bar, right? As you can see, we have a search suggestion, which is essentially Land Rover Defender. This is something I searched previously. So how are we going to delete this search suggestion? Well, we're going to click on the X sign next to it. And now when you actually refresh and we go back to the search bar, well, guess what? We have zero search suggestions. This is very important because you probably searched something that was trendy right now, but it's no longer trendy, so you're not probably going to search for it anymore. Uh, this is how it's going to work, guys. Subscribe and follow for more tips and tricks like this. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your Instagram search history. Very easy, very simple. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner, where is your profile image. Then you want to go on the top, where is the three straight lines button. Okay, you click on it. Then next step is to click on settings and privacy, the first option. Then you want to click on account center. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on your information and permissions. <laughs> I understand Facebook did it so, so complicated. It's not as easy as if you try to do the same thing on Facebook. Now, when you're on this menu, your information and permissions, you have to click on search history, the third option over here. So the main point over here is that by default, if you don't do anything about it, Instagram will keep your search history and your Instagram search history will be stored for only 30 days period, which if you search a lot of things might not be a big issue for you because every 30 days you got automatic restart. But if you want to delete a particular time frame, as you can see over here, you can actually select manually between three days seven days and 14 days this means that after three days your history will be automatically deleted after seven days will be automatically deleted and 14 days so this is how you can go about it or you can actually manually go back right over here and you click on the plus blue button which says clear all searches and you can do that by clearing for the last hour clearing yesterday and clearing all time. So you want to make sure what exactly you're trying to achieve. Do you want to delete some recent searches or search queries? Do you want to delete something that is, you know, in the period of a week or two? Uh, and do you want to delete absolutely everything? Do you want to start from scratch? You want to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. For more tips like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add music on multiple posts at the same time. Something like a carousel, but you're able to add music on top of it. Let's dive in. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower plus sign in the middle, like a regular post. The most important part here is to click on the double square. It is next to the camera icon. Click on the double square and now you're able to click on multiple different pictures. Let's for our example, select these two and then click on the top right corner where it says next. You click on next and here you have the option to click on the top middle side of the equation where you actually see the note sign. This is where you're able to add the music and you're able to add music that matches on your carousel. Right In our example, we use two images. The duration of the images might be equal to the duration of the song or might not be equal, depend on you. So you scroll around here, you can select by genre and you can select by individual songs over here. When you select your song, then you go back, everything as usual. You press next and the last step, of course, will let you, if you decide to change your mind and change the song, you can do so by doing or scrolling on this page. You don't have to go back and lose the progress. You can change the song by add music over here. You click on this page and you can replace the song very easy and simple you don't have to lose your progress everything else is as usual for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to make your instagram account private how to hide the people that you're following and the people who are following you 
In other words, how to hide your following list. First thing, let's launch the Instagram app. Next thing you want to do, you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on them and then you want to click on settings and privacy. Next thing you want to click, you want to scroll down and you want to click on account privacy. You want to click on this one and this is where you can turn your account from public to private. You click on this and this is what you've been warned from Instagram. Business accounts can be private. This is a very good reminder. This means that if you really want to turn your account private, you got to switch from business account to a creator account. This is something very important because business accounts sole purpose to exist or to convert the regular account is to sell something to be public and to share content. Uh, they are very beneficial for Instagram algorithm. So this is how you're going to go about it. If you have a personal or creator account, this is how you can actually shift from public to private. You, go, you have to toggle this in. What this will do, essentially, when you toggle this on, this will simply hide your posts, the posts that you're tagged on, the posts that you created, liked, followed. Also, on top of that, when your account is private, only followers you approve can see what you share including photos, videos, hashtags, location pages, followers, and following list. This means that even if somebody followed you, right, you approve them, but they still might not be able to do so because you filter a particular followers to see the pictures, the hashtags, the contents, the locations. You know how sometimes somebody follows you, you want to follow them back, and Instagram is telling you your following request has been sent. This means that you cannot follow them automatically. This is how you turn your account private and how they have to approve you to be part of their following list. Because even though you're not following them, right? You click on, on, on their followers, you cannot see them. You click on the people they follow, you cannot see them simply because the account has been turned into private. And like I mentioned, if you have a business account, you cannot do that. First step will be for you to switch from business to creator or from business to personal account. And then you can come to this setting over here. Remember the steps very well, right? Settings and privacy, scroll down to account privacy. And this is where you actually shift. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unblock people from Instagram. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy. When you're on settings and privacy, you want to scroll down a little to the section that is called who can see your content. This is very, very important. Why? Because here you will find the option that it says blocked. When you click on blocked, you will find all the accounts that you block from your Instagram page. This is where you can actually click unblock individually and simply scroll through the list of all the accounts. Uh, I wish they had an option where you can actually go and search. As you can see over here, the plus sign. Uh, I don't have so many people blocked, but if you have like tons of people blocked and you know, you met someone that you blocked like a couple of years ago and you want to reestablish the, the relationship, the connection, the friendship, right? You can click on the plus sign, click here on the search bar and simply look for the person. This is also very helpful. Otherwise, you just had to scroll. <laughs> and if you have like thousands of people, if you have your account created five, ten years ago, right? You will have a bunch of scrolling doing. So this is how we can go about it. The other option, of course, will be to simply go on the actual Instagram feed, you going to click on the second option where is the magnifying glass and then you will go on the search bar and probably look for the person. When you find the person from here, you will have its account and you will have the option to unblock it from the account straight up. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to report an Instagram account. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then let's go on the search bar and find an account that we want to report on. For this video, I'm going to use an 
Apple account, for example, only. Don't do it if you really don't have nothing to report on. Let's say, for example, you already have an account that you want to report. You found an account which is suspicious, looks like a scam, or you have certain evidence that something is wrong with this account. Maybe someone is impersonating someone else's. So we're going to go on the account and you want to click on the three dots on the top right corner on the account. This is what kind of menu you're going to see in front of you. You will have the restricted option, the block option, and the report option as well. Three options, as you can see, they're highlighted with red. Uh, I presume Instagram already is aware that if you're on this option, you will be looking for some of these three options. Main difference over here, if you report an account in which you probably click on, we click report. This is a simple process that you will go through. What do you want to report, right? The report is anonymous very important no one will know that you report them that you report their account or, or something right uh, very important the 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 metrics that you're going to report on could be under you know intellectual property infringement right if someone is in in danger if there is some emergency services but remember they could be uh, scams and spams and could be something wrong right someone might pretend to be someone that he is not uh, you can actually report uh, individual posts. You don't have to report the whole account, which is, again, very, very helpful. And the third option is something is wrong with the account itself. Uh, this is the three options. Someone is underage. Remember, this app is only allowed for people that are above certain age. Uh, someone is pretending or could be pretending to be somebody else, right? Somebody could pretend to be a Nike as a brand and selling, you know, shoes. Someone could pretend to be a celebrity, you know. Uh, very important because as you can see, the last option over here is the you report the account or the activity because there is something wrong. The account is a spam. You just don't like the account. This is also an option. As crazy as it sounds, this exists as an option in your report uh, filings. There are other things that are also obviously here that are not accepted or appropriate for the platform. So essentially, there is a wide range of complaints or, you know, dislikes that you could have with this account. But again, my advice is that if you just don't like the account, just, you know, block the account uh, and you don't see anything from it. You don't have to, you know, block or try to come up with some reasoning for you to report the account. Just don't be, don't be, you know, mean and, and don't do stupid things on the platform. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete permanently your Instagram account. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. When you're on your feed, you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture. Then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You click on them and then you want to launch the first option in the menu, which is settings and privacy. You click on settings and privacy and then you want to click on account center. When you're at account center, you want to focus on the second part of the menu, which is the lower screen account settings. You want to click on personal details. When you're at personal details, here you will find the information that we actually talk about. You will have the option to check the account ownership and to control the actual ownership of the account, meaning that deactivation and deletion will be here. I want to make sure that you completely understand how deactivation or deletion works. When you delete your account, your data will be lost, will be gone, and you will have up to 30 days to go back, log in, and essentially reopen your account. If you don't do so, your account will be gone, will be deleted permanently. And all the data, of course, will be lost. The second option is deactivation. This simply means that your account will be deactivated. Your account will not be searchable. People will not be able to find your account. Your content will be hidden. And essentially, how you reactivate the account, well, you simply log in back again. This is how simple as it is works. Uh, I believe that, you know, if you're not sure what you really want to do with your account, I think it's better option just to, at this point, either make it private, 
which means that your account will still be visible and your content still will be visible for your followers, people who approved to follow you, right? But if you really want to hide yourself and hide the content, but you're not sure you want to delete the account, deactivation, in my opinion, of course, uh, sounds like the better option. But surely, if you want to leave the social media in general, uh, probably you really want to delete your account. Just keep in mind that after you click delete, you have 30 days to go back and essentially recover your account. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Instagram Reels. First thing, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the Reels icon on the right side. You never got married, I never had... You want to stop the sound. And let's say we want to download this video. We want to click on the three dots on the lower right corner of the Reel, right? And now you want to copy the link. Click at the link button over here. Now the link has been copied. All we got to do is to go on Google, right? You click on Google Chrome and you got to find an app that is called Publer.io. This app has no ads, no watermarks, no registration. Uh, let's paste the link over here and let's click download. As you can see now, the Rio has been processed. If you scroll down, you would find if you click play, this is going to be video and here you're going to click download this is where you're gonna download as you can see also you can paste and copy and download instagram photos instagram videos instagram stories you can also download tiktok videos uh, very very interesting stuff over here as usual guys do your own research and due diligence uh, there is obviously much more to learn, but this is what I've seen a lot of people are using to download Instagram Reels. Uh, for more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your Instagram data. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to click on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then you want to scroll down and you want to click on your activity. Then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page where you see information you shared with Instagram. You want to click on download your information. When you click on download your information, you will be automatically prompted to download your information. You can request a copy of your information at any time. When your file is ready, you will have four days to download your information from this page. This means that it's not automatic, guys. You have to wait and you have to be ready for it. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tag someone on Instagram story. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to head to the top where you see the plus sign. You want to click on the plus sign and then you want to click story. Then you want to select what type of content you want to publish like this one over here. And this is where the magic happens. You want to head to the top settings of the menu and you want to click on the letter icon with double A. Now to tag someone you got to click on the lower left side where it says mention. You want to click on mention, the add sign will pop out. In our case, we're going to use Apple because we do have an iPhone on the actual content. This is where you actually tag the person, you find the person or the company and it will pop out underneath. There you have it. You find Apple, then you, will, you can actually move this left and right. You can make it big or very, very, very small. And you can place it over here or over here, right? Very nice, tidy, needy. But also you can do, you can tag and, and multiple people. Just simply go back to the double letter icon on the top. And then you click again the mention. And you can mention someone else. For example, you can do something like, you know, something like tech reviews or tech related channel or anything related to it. 
this is how simple it is guys to find someone tag it on instagram story and simply create your story for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to tag someone on instagram post first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your profile picture then when you're on your profile you want to head towards the plus sign you want to click on the plus sign and then you want to create a new post after you select which type of picture or video you want to publish you want to make sure that you're moving forward after you edit the songs over here then you want to click next and this is where you can actually tag people you click on tag people and you can simply click on the actual photo or video on the piece of content that you're about to publish and then you can search for it you can search for the person or you can search for the company in our case you can see let's take an example you we saw ronaldo right you took a selfie with ronaldo you google for ronaldo and bam you already found ronaldo here you tag ronaldo and you will see all the people or the companies or the profiles that you actually tag on your piece of content for example you did a mistake how you can actually remove this person from it all you gotta do is to click again on the picture on the actual tag and you can click x and this is how you add or remove people or profiles from the actual piece of content that you previously tag very simple very clear very visual also you see a small option underneath which allows you to invite people to collaborate with let's say you have someone with you right another content creator who saw you with Ronaldo, you took a pictures with him, maybe you took a video with him. So you want to add this person as a partner in this video, collaborator, right? Let's say you met Casey Neistat, right? And you made a video with Casey Neistat, he was with you, with Ronaldo. You can add him. You see how it works? Now we add collaborator inside our piece of content. It's very, very cool because now you have the option not only to tag the person that you interviewed but you can also also add someone else that took part of the interview and help you taking the interview so as you can see guys it's very simple it's very intuitive for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to schedule instagram posts first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to click on the plus sign in the middle of the lower screen after you click the plus sign, you can select the image that you want to upload. This is going to be our image, right? You can add music on the top middle side of the corner. You can actually add additional effects as a background, making it more boost or not so boost. Then when you finish that on the lower side, you have additional filters that will help you choose the different contrast and saturation. When you finish with that, press next on the top right corner. Then, as usual, you want to include the caption, the hashtags, 5 to 8, the most niched ones. Don't go general, because general, it will be very hard for you to actually rank. Then, when you finish with that, you can scroll down. And the most important part over here is to click on advanced settings, right before posting. This is where you can actually find the first option, which is schedule this post. When you click on schedule this post on the right side and toggle this in, you will have the option to choose the particular day, the particular time, and the particular part of the day, a.m. or p.m. This essentially means that if you are traveling overseas or if you're traveling in the other part of the country where they have a different time zone, it is very important for you to still reach your target audience. If your audience is located on the East Coast and you're traveling on the West Coast, you want to make sure that you utilize the a.m. p.m. version of this this is also very helpful, especially if you're traveling and if you don't have Wi-Fi on the plane. This means that when you schedule the post, your post will go live even though you're still somewhere out there, right? In the air or you're checking in or you're arriving from, from some other destination. So this is very helpful and very easy to adapt. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.